What is going on, everybody? Hello! It is Pixel Parties here, and welcome back to Dang Rumpa 2. When we left off, we are Nagito right now, and we had to go through that 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 horrible room of of despair. <laughs> the, the the final dead the room, which is also my final nightmare. <laughs> but we've made it through, and we are now in Yakugan after Nagito went all wild playing his Russian yeah. roulette game. It's more than luck. He's a little insane. A but, little? <laughs> Now we're here. In a and place that looks like, you know, is the, the storage place for D&D &D cosplay accessories. <laughs> for real. <laughs> this would be perfect for everyone. It's just, it's all medieval weapons. <laughs> yes. Now as we're sitting here about to record, I realized something. Maybe the most important thing about this room. Can I first walk down? I was like, oh, there's some kind of light against the wall. That don't look like no light. That looks like a window right there. It does. I didn't so notice that before the, either. And no. then when you said, hey, there's something I want to I wanna mention. I'm like, what is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So once, as soon as we are able to like look around, that is the first thing I'm going to check because that <laughs> feels like a very important thing. It's the only window in this goddamn place. Okay. Watch it be a fake window. So this is the octagon. I would be so sad. So this is the octagon, huh? Mm. What a distorted room. Oh, oh hi. <laughs> Congratulations, Nagito! Ooh, uh, he's here! <laughs> Congratulations on clearing the final dead room. And you've even challenged yourself with the highest difficulty of not only... With only a 1-6 chance of success. Here! I have a modest present for someone like you. Now then, this first. Is this the Future Foundations file? Didn't we already get this when we were at the roller coaster? Uh-huh. Well, I just think this is an extension of that. Extension. Hey, hey. You, what are you giving without permission? Hmm. Let's see, and one more special prize. Here you go. This crest. Is this Hope Peak Academies? <laughs> That's right, this file. It contains your student profiles from your time at Hope Peak Academy. Oh. Meaning they're profiles that you guys don't even remember. Our time at Hope Peak Academy, huh? But after all this time, I still can't believe it. Well, what? You mean that matter concerning your stolen school memories? I mean, no good person like me actually spent time with everyone else at Host Peak Academy? No, that's impossible. That's true. How did I feel? Surely, I would have spent my time feeling ashamed of myself for being in the presence of such greatness. <laughs> okay, geez, whether you're a bit or depressed, I still don't understand you at all. <laughs> oh well, anyway, I'm passing this along to you. How you use it is up to you. Thanks. I'll take a long look at it later. So I'll look at these profiles, I'll be able to find what Hajime's hidden talent is too. He'll probably be happy about it. Yay! Someone like me was finally useful. Oh my god. What are you laughing about? I just thought it was ironic. Out of everyone here, someone like you was the one who obtained Who Speak Academy's student profile. I'm not sure if you're lucky or unlucky. What does that mean? <laughs> Oh, looks like things are gonna get interesting. Yes, Nagito. <laughs> you might be the one who makes things much more interesting. I don't really know what you're talking about. Hey, hey. hey what are you planning? What's written in there? Like... Anyway, Monami. Hey, hey. No cheating. You haven't reached the end yet. Hmm? Huh? I mean, you haven't played Russian Roulette yet. Oh. Um... But, but Nagito already did it. Yes, he did, not you. you no, 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 no. No, 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 no! Get over here! Revenge to the final dead room! No! Coercion! Jeez, they're gone. Finally, thank fuck. <laughs> In the end, I still don't understand what Monokuma was talking about. But for now, I'll leave this file for later. No, let us see now! First, you investigate this room. It's like I know how to get out of here. And I can't check anything. <sighs> My, it, it, that is going to be kept from us until the very God end. They're damn truth it. They don't want us to know. And I bet, I bet part of the end of the game is the fact that Hajime is going to understand, or not Hajime, but Nagito is going to understand a lot more than we do of what's yeah. going on at the end. He's not going to tell us until it's too late, probably. All right. I want hey, to check. Window. Yeah. A window. Why is there only one window in a place like this? It looks like there's some kind of hidden meaning to it. But in actuality, what could it mean? In my mind, I entertained various possibilities as I walked slowly toward the window. And then, the moment I peeked out that window... Huh? Th this is... What I actually saw outside that window. It was completely different from any possibility I had in mind. 
Um, is it going to be like, are we in like Hope's Peak and this is going to be the city down there? Or something? That'd be terrifying. That would be, that would, uh, I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I see. So that's what it was. But it's outside this window. If I start piecing it together and think about it. Yeah, I see. It seems I'm finally starting to get a larger perspective of the fun house with this. What do you see? Uh, of course they'll never let us fucking know. Weapons. Oh. Jesus Christ. Remember how I said they're all medieval? That's the only ones that I we, could see. We, yeah, we missed this one. We couldn't see this from over there. I see. So there are lots of firearms here, too. There are handguns and grenade launchers, even. Oh, okay. I thought there was going to be more of that. No, there are handguns and grenade launchers, even. Like that. I know. I, I misread it, but now these weapons. Yeah. Axes, swords, hammers, metal wires. There's a lot of items here that could be used as weapons. Is that a fucking great sword on the end there? It seemed like it. Um, well, that goes back to the final dead room. So like I want to murder someone like a Final Fantasy character. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. Okay, so that's just the. You just make sure I'm. Yeah, so that's all that, and I go. Yeet. Whoa, there's more. There's a trap door. I guess that's or how not. Monokuma knew we were in here. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Refrigerator? Here. Is there food in it? I love refrigerators. Oh, drinks. <laughs> oh, no. I drinks in it. When I opened the door and peeked inside, I see there are poison sword in here. You can secretly kill everyone with poison. In a way, it could be considered the most powerful weapon. Yeah. But in that case, you'd have to ignore the rules. Anything else aside from the trap? No. Nope. Hatch door. Floor hatch. There's a door on the floor. Everybody do I the knew dinosaur? you were going to do it. I damn, knew it. Damn. Isn't this the first floor of Strawberry House? Predictable. Did this door lead underground? Based on the sketch, there shouldn't have been a bunker. No, maybe what lies beyond this door. <laughs> Things are finally getting interesting. He knows something because of the window. Yeah. Amazing. As expected of a place that cannot be reached unless you clear the final dead room. Thanks to how I arrived here, all the separate pieces seems to have connected together in one fell swoop. A chain reaction culminating in the truth, all thanks to just one clue. <laughs> I know that's not, I know that now's not the time to enjoy things, but this is definitely a good feeling. Especially that window. That's right, everything became connected from there. Thanks to that window, I realized the mystery of the ultimate weapon in the fun house. Now all I have to do is tell everyone else about this. But before I do that, I should finally take a look at, a, at the file I received from Monokuma. Especially if it's everyone's student profiles from their time at Hope Speak Academy. That's important. Oh boy, I caution to open the away. file and read it carefully, taking care not to miss a single letter. Carefully. Huh? Oh boy. I don't know who that is. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh. Oh, hi, Tracky. Can hey. you hear me? Hey, <laughs> hey, can you hear me? <laughs> Hajime, can you hear me? Uh huh? Uh, I'm sorry. Did you say something? Are you astral projecting your soul into Nagito? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been about two hours since we spoke to Fuyuhiko. I wonder if the elevator's been fixed yet. It'd be bad if we were still split up before the class trial. So maybe we should call them one more time. Hey, are you even listening? I only brought that up because I'm really worried. S sorry. So what are you gonna do? You're right. I'm worried about them too. Let's try calling Strawberry House one more time. I think. Yeah, it's a great idea. I think. <laughs> oh, I, hi. I, 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 I wait. How the fuck? I, I... Was that the door? I'll assume that the trap door must have brought him here. Yeah. Uh, uh... Huh? Pop goes the weasel over there. Uh, uh, let's just use the telephone quick. <laughs> <laughs> Great theme telephone. Strawberry buttons have natural phone numbers. As I thought, it was just, nope. just, uh, just like classic times. Okay. <laughs> hello there. <laughs> well, hello there, Hajime. D Nagito, why are you here? <laughs> because I showed up. Uh, you showed up? How did you even come here? <laughs> Maybe I teleported. He's having fun. Huh? 
<laughs> not his sudden yeah. appearance. I mean, that must be connected to the room then. Uh -huh. If this is a truth bullet, then this is connected. Wait, I just realized something. Because whoever know. went through the final dead room and got a weapon could have come to this side through there and like done things. I don't know. Yeah. Um, okay, so we do have, um, so we got all this previous stuff. What does it stuff. say for Nagito's sudden appearance, by the way? Uh, Naito is supposed to be a strawberry house, but he appeared a grape house via some unknown method. Contact elevator should have been broken. It is. <laughs> which means he found a way to cross between them without using the elevator. Or the hall, because we have that truth of the being broken. The contact elevator was used to move between both houses was broken and only worked. It was apparently broken at the grape house side, so the last person to use it would have arrived at grape house. Wall clock. That's a long oh, one. Oh wow. Oh my god. Okay, so at 5:30 a.m., an alarm. At alarm of wall. The, the alarm, alarm of the alarm of wall clock. Yeah, they 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 typed that weird. The alarm of wall clock in the lounge on Strawberry House. Second floor started going off. Vigo was at the lounge by coincidence and managed to stop the alarm because Weechi and Gundam rushed to the lounge after being alerted. However, Nagato was apparently the only one who didn't hear it. It should be okay. the alarm of the wall clock. Yeah. They missed that, a word. We've got the point at least, so. Um, <laughs> the alarm of wall clock. Right, I guess we'll go ahead and, now that we've gotten that from you, or you, <laughs> he's not going to tell us more. No. So we'll go ahead and use the phone. Script the telephone. So everyone is, uh, is this the, oh, okay, maybe we we'll talk, talk to him. him more? I guess. Or Chiaki? Hey, 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 answer me. Seriously. How are you able to come to this side? Hey. Before I do that, there's something I need to tell you guys. There is? I tried to investigate Strawberry House as much as I could. Now then. I'll give you those details first. Let's hurry this up. Oh, so he's gonna tell us about... Yeah. I'm being abruptly interrupted by Nagito. Chucky and I learned about the results of his investigation of Strawberry House. Oh, well, I mean, With I... About the whole elevator thing. Yeah, I mean, I already, I already had those, so, but thank well, you. Well, yeah. And, oh yeah, Fuyu Hiko. But Hajime doesn't. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm just saying they were in Hajime's yeah. possession. <laughs> so, well, I guess these are pretty important. Especially the fact that everyone in Strawberry House heard that rumbling noise, too. But what was that about the wall clock's alarm going off before that happened? Also, the fact that Strawberry Hall's button was broken is definitely worth noting. Yeah. Hey. Also, there's one more thing I need to tell you guys. <laughs> I've cleared the final dead room. Huh? <laughs> you did the life-threatening game? Wow. It wasn't life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. R Russian r roulette? Um, it's a game where you load one bullet in a gun, spin the cylinder, point it toward you, and pull the trigger. So, you really did it. Man. Ah, uh, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So it would have been fine if I'd only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Minomi said. Huh? Huh? Actually... <laughs> I misunderstood and thought that I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder. So that's how I did it. He's fucking with that, us that, right that, now. You only had a one in six chance of surviving. Well. But I'm still alive. After all, the only good thing about me is how lucky I am. Whoa, what's wrong with him? I love how the way he, like, he knew what Russian roulette was. Yeah. He just worded it to freak <laughs> us out more. I knew it was strange from the start, but for him to casually do something so suicidal, he's crazy. That's all there is to it. I... Anyway, because I was able to clear the final dead room, I was able to obtain several rights. And one of those rights <laughs> was the freedom to move between Grape House and Strawberry House. Not only that, but whenever I move back and forth, I don't even need to play the game again. Oh. Move back and forth. Where would you even be able to do that and how? Man. Hey, Hajime. <laughs> you stay quiet. Oh. You've been repeating yourself over and over. It's bugging me. Can you let me speak freely for a change? Huh? 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 <laughs> Anyway, I'm definitely lucky. Thanks to that, I was able to clear the roulette as the highest at the highest difficulty. And I obtained quite an amazing prize as my reward. That... Is that the Future Foundation file? Yep. Yeah, it's a continuation of the file we received at the roller coaster. Continuation? There's even more detailed information about the killing school life that was in the earlier file. The... The killing school life. Yep. I mean, the killings took place at Hope Speak Academy, right? As I recall, Byakuya was one of the students who participated in it. He was. <laughs> but even when we learn more about the killing school life, it has no relevance to us whatsoever. 
There was information about the order of the killings and who the killer was for each incident. I find it extremely boring to read about the deaths of people that I don't even know. Right. Besides Byakuya, of course. That's just as I thought. That Byakuya was the Byakuya we knew, right? But... Huh. However, I can't say the information was completely useless. In truth, there are similarities between the killing school life and this killing school trip. S similarities? Um... For example, the first murder involves someone important getting stabbed to death in an unexpected place. That's true. Yeah. Uh, d there is this. This is also true. The oh. second murder revealed the presence of a serial killer among the group. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and the third murder was actually two killings that happened in succession. Yep. I'm trying to remember what that was. That was, um... Um... Oh, Hifumi and, uh... Taka. Uh, uh, yeah. What do you guys think about these strange similarities? That is true. It's definitely strange. Well... I can't think of these as coincidences, especially if Monokuma's was behind the motives in driving the murders. Mm. What are you trying to say? Hey. By the way, the fourth murder of the killing school life was apparently ruled a suicide. Yep, that's Sakura. Yeah? Huh? <laughs> Whether that means something or not is something each person should think about on their own. And that her, just, her statue is in is here too. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. I just wanted to tell you guys the truth. The truth? Are you sure you're not just trying to confuse us? Your complaints just never end, do they? If you're gonna talk like that, I won't I won't wanna tell you anymore. And even learn what your talent is too. Huh? Well Well that file wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. This is another one. Th that seal! Yep. Indeed, it's the Hopespeak Academy School Crest. Perhaps. Does that have information about our stolen memories? How unfortunate. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. This file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. Oh. J just m m mine Why? Isn't that weird? Why only Hajime's information? And now he's so pissy with us. Yeah. <laughs> It's quite troubling that you would ask me that. I must say, it was always interesting that Hajime was the only one who couldn't remember his talent. Right. But that ends now. Uh, are you serious? Did you ever find out why I was chosen by Hopefully Academy? We're getting interrupted by the fucking trial bell. Watch oh. it. Watch. In a way, it's just as Chiaki said. Hajime's existence is special. Because you were laid on me. Uh, just some oh. reserve course student from the reserve department. I... Huh? Well... Unlike the primary department of main course students who possess ultimate talents, the reserve department is for reserve course students who enter the school through a basic entrance exam. Essentially, you're like a substitute of the second string. Well, even then, that's just a name only. The reserve department pretty much only exists to increase Hope Peak Academy's revenue stream. Reserve department? Substitute? Second string? Revenue stream? What is he saying? <laughs> like I said, to be a reserve course student, you don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You just have to pay a rather costly entrance fee in tuition. With the funds obtained from these exams, the academy can focus on bolstering and researching talent. <laughs> Through this, the symbols of hope can be raised. Isn't that right? Which means you're just a step ladder. But you should feel honored. An average talentless human can be put to good use for those who are known as mankind's hope. What the hell? No does wonder that he's mean? been treating us like a peasant. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps you simply weren't determined enough. Did you admire hope? Were you willing to sacrifice your body and soul to attend Hope Speak Academy? Or maybe. You were just obsessed with Hopespeak Academy like a fangirl following the latest trend. It's not like that. I... Stop it. Wanted to become Hope? That's what you're thinking. Just stop it. Oh, boy. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming Hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. There's no mistake. This has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by Hope to become Hope. You don't even know? That's why... It's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by our admiration for Hope Speak Academy that you couldn't even see that? Uh -huh. 
You're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with. A nobody who forgot he was a nobody. That's all. Then, I... I'm just... <laughs> That's right, you were never an ultimate. You had no talent whatsoever. I... Oh I boy! Don't have any talent? I'm just an ordinary high school student? Man. I feel so sorry for you. Are you shocked to learn that you were the only one who didn't have a talent? That's not it. But still, if you think about it positively, it looks like there's no more reason to doubt you. Now that we know who you are, a normal, average, utterly unremarkable high school student, there's no way you could be associated with the Future Foundation. Hmm. But if it's not Hajime, then who in the world could the traitor be? The survivor of the previous killing school left Byakuya would have been the most likely candidate. But now that's probably impossible. Hey. Hey, are you listening? Hold it. There's no need for you to listen to this. What? Huh? Don't what? take his fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> it may be important to talk about who the traitor is. We need to focus on Mechamaru's murder first. Because if we can't survive the class trial, everyone is going to die together anyway. In that case, would the traitor be among those killed as well? That's something I truly wonder about. Yep. Oh well, it's fine. I'll stop for now. Hey, hey! The fuck you mean for now? <laughs> you said you cleared the final dead room and obtained these files. That means you must have gone to the octagon, right? Hey. Are you serious about the ultimate weapon? Curious. curious about the <laughs> ultimate weapon? So... Did you find out what it was? <sighs> maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Is there any reason I should answer that? Bitch. Huh? What the hell? <laughs> I'm the one who cleared that room, and I'm free to divulge any clues I obtained here as I see fit. Right. Are you planning to keep it a secret? Are you playing the side with the killer again? Man. Like I said, I'm not on the killer's side. That hasn't changed since the beginning. How many times must I repeat myself? I just want hope to shine even brighter. What you're saying doesn't make any fucking sense at all. My god. Just tell <laughs> us already. Tell us about the ultimate weapon. Jeez. Jeez, I guess I have no choice. I suppose I can tell you one little tidbit. I... You're right. I did go to a place that seemed to be the Octagon, and I found many different weapons there. But didn't find anything worthy of the name Ultimate Weapon. Don't lie, there's no way that's possible. Stop it. Come from someone with no talent like yourself, that's awfully offensive. What did you say? Oh. Oh boy. Fine, I understand. Now's not the time for us to be fighting anyway. If you don't if you won't tell us, we gotta do it ourselves. Now, shall we go back to investigating Mechamaru's case? Are you done being the Regina of mean girls, Nagito? <laughs> you better hurry. The class trial is gonna start soon. You're right. I haven't even seen the crime scene. Also, the guys in Strawberry House should be coming over to this mo side any moment now. Bye now. Then while we're at it, I'll go on ahead. Good fucking riddance, never come back. God, he's so salty about hey. me. Hey, Hajime, are you okay? You really bruised your ego it's there. It's okay, I already know. You want me to focus on Nekamara's case right now, right? It's true that I'm shocked, but now it's not the time for me to feel like that. Right now, I can't afford to be the only one who's depressed. I need to survive with everyone else and return home. That's what's most important. Isn't that right? Yep. Yeah, I'm relieved to hear that. We should get moving then. Yeah, you're right. You're not ordinary to me, Hajime. I should just forget about it for now. I need to focus on Nekamaro's case. Bye! Alright. Uh, I guess we'll just go back to the crime scene. Do, oh do, boy. Do, 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 Cause everyone should be here now. <laughs> oh hi Gundam. I returned from the depths of hell. Uh, okay. G Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sorry we're late. Hey. Just so y'all know, I think that it's all thanks to me. I'm going to fix the elevator. <laughs> See, it's just as I said, right? Hey, hey. hey, are you listening to me? I'm trying to stand out here. Hey. More importantly, Kazuichi, did you look into that matter I asked you about? Huh? Oh, the compass thing. That's right. Huh? Oh, that thing about the compass? <laughs> well, you know I was coming here, but I think this compass might be broken. You stay quiet. I didn't ask for your opinion. Just tell me the results. He's all high and mighty now. For real? Jesus, just tell me the results. <laughs> huh? W well, the compass needed to rotate 180 degrees when we were riding the elevator. 
Huh. I'm trying to... How the... Do we have a map of the area yet? Or... Fuck! Because <laughs> that... That would have to make them not connected. Huh. Rotate 180 degrees? <laughs> I see. It's just as I thought. Huh? Uh, hey, what do you mean by that? Well, that's obvious. Well, obviously, the elevator most likely rotated 180 degrees. The elevator rotated? <laughs> <laughs> I should go investigate Nekomaru's body. As if it were thumping his, thumping thumping. his nose at us, Nagito began making his way toward Grape Just Tower. Like, oh my. <laughs> the hell's wrong with him? Does he seem pissed off or something? Nagito, what do you know? How much do you know? A lot, apparently. Apparently. Well then. Jaki! Oh, sorry, I got distracted <laughs> by Chiaki. Hi. Hey. I guess Nagito is like a tardy detective. What are you talking about? See? It's a trope in mystery games. They always come to the crime scene late just to make an important discovery. Sherlock? <laughs> <laughs> Sherlock, I'm looking at you, kid. <laughs> but they can never reach the truth of the case. They just end up feeding the main character's assumptions. Oh, it is Sherlock. <laughs> Sherlock. <laughs> well, in Nagito's case, he's not the type to feed anyone. He'll just make things even more complicated. Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> Sherlock does That's both. That's true. He's such a <laughs> troublesome person. <laughs> But I feel like he's been acting weirder than usual. But do not put Sherlock on the same page as Nagito. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sherlock is wonderful. Nagito's kind of a bitch now. He's acting a little fishy. I, I used There's to like him. There's gotta be a reason him, for and it. Now I, don't, I don't know. He knows something that we don't, and mm -hmm. he won't tell us. <laughs> I don't think a new discovery is bad, though. He might be able to find something we completely overlooked. Cool. If he'll just fucking tell us. <laughs> To great, great hall door. To grape tower. We can always just all tackle him, pin him down, and interrogate him. God, I wish. Are you serious? <laughs> Nekomar, are you serious? Damn it. I don't know who did this, but this is pretty fucked oh, up. Oh, yeah, they haven't seen this yet. Now it's not time to get sentimental. Come on, we need to hurry up and investigate. But we've already investigated everything we can here. Wow. No, you haven't. There's still something you should be able to investigate more thoroughly. And the Mekon is no longer with us, we can't perform an autopsy. Right. But Kazuichi should be able to assemble a body, right? Oh. Huh? It cannot be. Huh? Is that true? Are you going to disassemble Nekomaru's body? I won't you. Don't screw with me. Hasn't Coach Nekomaru been through enough already? You don't know? Been through enough? We need to perform this investigation to find out who the killer is. Or perhaps you don't want to know, Akane. Maybe you don't care about what happened to Nekomaru. Reverse psychology. <laughs> well, why you? You stay quiet. If you suck at using your brain, you really want to know who the killer is. Try not to interfere so much. What the hell? Oh. What Holy is crap? Jeez. Come on, Kazuichi. What are you standing there for? Uh. Damn it! Fine. I just have to do it, right? I know I said I wanted to see his insides, but not like this. This is just too much. Well. Come on. Are you guys feeling okay too? There's no, now it's not time to be staring into space. Now you do. Yeah. There's something definitely wrong with you. I thought he was just treating me differently ever since he yeah. found out I have no talent, but... He's treating everyone differently. Seems like that's not entirely the case. His attitude towards everyone else is strange now, too. But why? Huh. Huh. Yo. Can we talk? That's not time nope. to be staring. Okay, yeah, now you can tell what happened to you. Okay. So, how's the how's Damn the investigation it. going? Come so far, there's no way I can get sentimental out of time like this. You all have a neck of but this is this is necessary. We're gonna find out the truth behind this case. You always talk so fast when you read his lines. Well, I did that one because he's it was kind of repeating what he did before. Always but though. You as slow he down. his voice through his clenched teeth. <laughs> Kazuchi faced Nekomaru's eyes full of determination began stabbing his tool knife into Nekomaru's body. Huh, where did you get that tool knife? Huh? Nagito gave it to me. He said he had it ready before he even went to the amusement park. So Nagito did that too. It's like Nagito has full control of the situation. Maybe. It's like the damage to his head is the reason. Huh? The reason Nekomaru died, I mean, stopped functioning. Hmm. His torso was kind of a huge dent, his pants are just... His... Those parts are dislocated. His pants. His pants are dislocated. <laughs> you ever yep. just dislocate your pants? 
Maybe a gear shaft broke too? Well, for now, I've tried to seal the Nakamaru's chest. That should help us learn something, right? The clock. Yeah. And we're going to take a look at that. Oh, hey, it's already popped out. We're going to take a look at that uh, next time. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, excuse me. Next time. Man, Nagito's... God, Jesus. What I... on earth has he seen? Someone put salt in his cereal this morning. Because, I mean, either that file wasn't just about me, or it's something that was in the the future foundation file but he made a point of like being surprised when he read the the hope speak academy file yeah i don't know we'll just keep seeing where this takes us oh boy